What happened a few years back was when the, uh, there was a magistrate, Ter Terry Siddell, and uh, up at Broom, and a superintendent, Keith Weavers. They were saddened by the amount of people up in Broom and, and every people, especially with our jobs and going through courts. And the, the trust wasn't there for the Aboriginal people with the police, and there was no bondship, so they decided they're going to form an Aboriginal police liaison officer role. But I was recommended by about four elders to, to, to join the job, so um, uh, it was a, which is a privilege. To, especially when you're selected by elders to say yes, you know, you'll be a good fellow in there, you'll get in there. And um, that was 32 years ago and today I'm still in it. At first we had no trust because we were seen to be wearing a police uniform and the people didn't see you um, as a liaison officer, they saw you as another Aboriginal person in the uniform. And, but now it's all completely changed. The commissioners down the road saying oh, you will no longer be assistant to our officers, you will be out there talking to the people, encouraging them to do to do the right thing, getting them to school, like, um, and our job is now tr very trustful because since I got you two years ago, I didn't know how I was going to handle this. I didn't know what sort of people will trust, have trust in me. But I came in here with a few ideas which I ran in room, a few courses, driver's training. I started off with that, and it just got bigger and bigger, and uh, then I started getting in with the other local boys coming in, doing a men's group. We tried to get some a station out here going. Uh, where we could have the people go out and the kids go out and camp out and get their self-esteem back. And uh, we're working on that, and that's just about in place now. Um, then now the government agencies are coming in and saying, oh, we've got a program coming up, can you come in and help us? And so, you know, and this is for the kids because they, everybody recommending you that you'd be a good person to uh, sort of assist with the, with the program. Well. Um, my, my word of encouragement would be to say to the children, they got a future out there. We, we didn't have a future. We didn't have anybody to, to put us on the right track. We had to do it on our own. Today they've got all the help. They've got all the departments coming in, supporting them. And there's no excuse to, for them to go drinking and, and carrying on and as if there was nothing for to, no tomorrow for them. We, there, is, there is future for them. There's jobs available coming up. We're very... Uh, much in supporting them and helping them as much as we can and they should be happy with that and look at it and say well look you know not only for ourselves but they have children as well and they should be looking at supporting their children in the future as well and they should take it with both hands.